Hi, I'm Sarah Kronberger. I am a small animal orthopedic technician here at the vet school. I am going to be showing you how to fill a syringe for an injection today. So we have a um, some orders from a doctor that says we're going to be giving one cc of a rabies vaccine sub-Q to Reveille. So to pull us up, you want to look at the drug that you have here. Check that you have the correct drug here, which I do. And then the amount, and we're going to help pick our syringe size. So we only need one cc or one mil. This would be a little bit too much. We wouldn't need this much in here. And it's also hard to get an accurate measurement when it, you have this much extra room in your syringe. And then this one, we would have to fill it completely up. So we want to make sure that we have a little bit of extra room in here. So this could get challenging. So what we're going to choose is this three mil syringe or three cc syringe. We're going to label it and we're going to label it with the drug name and the amount and then we're going to pick our needle size so Reveille is a dog so we're going to pick probably a 22 gauge needle to do this um, so we have a 23 gauge that's smaller we have a 16 gauge that's going to be a little bit large for her so we're going to use a 22 gauge needle and you're going to put this on and twist it until it it kind of locks in there since this is a lower lock syringe so we are then going to prep the vial by using a prep pad to clean it off just to make sure there's nothing on the top. And then uncap your needle. We're gonna fill this with air to the amount that we want and then gently invert this and stab through the rubber stopper. You wanna make sure that you have the end of your needle in the fluid versus in the air bubble that's at the top and then push the air into it which is especially important with glass vials because they don't they will have problems with pressure because there's not any give this is plastic so it's not as imperative but it is still a good important thing to note um, so we're going to check that we have the right amount so we're going to pull this up to one mil and i've got a little bit of an air bubble down here so I'm going to tap it to get this air bubble out. And you can sometimes overfill it if you have a bubble and then get the bubble to the top and push it out. And then we're going to remove this while keeping it all pointed up. Then we're going to carefully recap this needle um, so that we can take the needle off because we've now dulled the needle by using that. So the, the safest way to recap a needle is to set the cap on the table and gently go into it and then push it into the table itself. Be careful you don't actually push the plunger, you hold the base of the syringe. If you do it with your hands, it is possible that the needle gets bent and can actually stab through the side of the case. So you always want to push it into the table to make sure it's secure. And then you can remove it and put it into the sharps container and get a fresh needle before you inject.